Act three of Adelgita or the Fruits of a Single Error by Matthew Lewis. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Act three. Scene one. The Palace Gardens. On right, a bank. The castle towers are seen through the trees in the background. Adelgita, much agitated, enters with a letter, followed by Claudia and Dorsetus, right. Adelgita, to herself. This, this to me. To Dorsetus. Tis well. Inform thy lord. Claudia shall bear my answer. Aside. Fiend! Barbarian! Humbly, I take my leave. Exit right. Adelgita, giving way to her emotion. Oh, Claudia, Claudia, I'm lost, betrayed! Most cruel chance, which through you defenceless in his power. Read there, and learn his insults and my danger. Claudia, looking on the letter. How? An audience? Alone? Within twelve hours? Else threats that Giscard shall know? Oh, there, there shall know, shall scorn, shall hate me. I trust not so. Your heart felt deep contrition, your charms, your worth, his passion, all will plead. Thou think so? Thou who nursed him? Nurse the value he sets on female honour? Oh, no, I'm lost. What must be done? This scroll, thou darest not disobey it. True, I dare not. Hence with these doubts, I'll meet him. How? I'll meet him, sink at his feet, bathe them with tears, implore him, to spare a frantic wretch. And if he spurns me and my griefs... What wilt thou then do? Die! Die, Claudia, die! Yes, let the worst befall me, that last resource has left me still. Attacker. Better cease to feel than feel to suffer, and death less painful than a life of shame. Ye powers, who read the human soul and long have read remorse in mine, melt ye his marble heart. Heaven grant it, yet this conference, such close parley, such frequent meetings well may raise suspicion. True, true. Should any curious ear surprise your converse? I were lost. A private passage leads to St. Hilda's cave. Right, there, securely, unseen, unheard, oh shame! And shall I steal from Giscard's sight to meet the wretch who dared insult my hearing? Though the skies rained fire, I would not! Lo, where Giscard comes, and surely in search of me, in that hour, I see those eyes which seek me now, contemptuous shun me. If I've a dagger and a heart, I swear that hour's my last. Oh, heaven! Tis said, tis sworn, I cannot, will not live unloved by Giscard. Could he forgive? Who knows, twelve years of truth, of lasting love and deep remorse. I'll dare it. What means thou? Tis the crisis of my fate. I'm desperate, Claudia, desperate. Leave me, leave me. Exit Claudia, right. Enter Giscard, left. At length I'm free. How tedious seemed the duties which kept me from thy sight. But now once more I live for love and thee. Why darts thine eye that piercing glance as it would search my soul? Speak my best, love. Thou hast a heart, my Giscard, firm, generous, just. That heart is Adelgitha's. Not virtue's more. No more. As much, for surely virtue in Adelgitha form but one. Oh, would that now thy heart were mine, mine wholly! Then pity's sigh should drown the voice of justice, and angry honour's flame be quenched with tears. 
what means that wish thou surely wouldst not plead the cause of vice i plead the cause of weakness whose cause a woman's and a wretch what asks she peace honour life and hurt them all from thee from me more plainly speak among my damsels is one whose faults of youth i blush to name when on her cheek sixteen had scarcely shed the bright reflection of its roseate wings while yet she knew not guile but thought mankind pure as her heart for then her heart was pure a wounded youth beneath her father's roof found kind protection long she nursed him watched him pitied and soothed and when she saw him suffer the fond thing wept herself he was a villain prayers sighs tears oaths nothing was spared to win her she listened and believed her heart was weak she fell his heart was false he fled best love thy story both affects and pains oh spare me the tale of sorrows which admit no cure her doom is fixed no power can now recall it honour like life once lost is lost for ever oh doom too harsh which bars out hope and seals the lips of mercy if all think thus what then avails repentance why waste brief life in tears were this life the only life perhaps were wisely argued but there's another world more good more happy and hours of pain are paid with heavenly bliss and life eternal and to thy damsel's tale her lover fled remorse ne'er left her more and oh such anguish such floods of tears i fear they flowed not long who once has fallen will fall again and soon no doubt the tears which her first lover caused her some second kissed away no giscard no those suitors young and fair and rich and noble sighed at her feet and vowed themselves her subjects as diane's statue cold she heard their suit and for that false one's sake rejected all but then came one so past all praise so perfect whom to see and love was equal this wondrous man born to be loved and love this man o'er whom you hold much power ah no thou canst not mean it thou canst not wish i should exert that power to place pollution in his arms and bind with hymen's sacred bands a wanton's temples she loves thou sayest darest love a man of honour were she his wife adelgita hastily and with great emotion she is what holds my court one man so dead to shame so blind with passion he with a wanton shares his name he knew not knew not knows not now what sayest thou her passion for her lord her pure strict morals twelve years in virtue past concealed oh monstrous twelve years concealed twelve years what did she feign so well then was she so arch a mistress in dissembling fie fie tis odious crosses to right adelgita extremely agitated yet one word one question say it were thy case should some most dear relation thy friend of youth thy much-loved sister giscard violently mine proceed not mine my sister mine oh gods were i so cursed i own such a shame and were my heart so base as still to love her i'd tear that heart out kiss god far let her fly from all the world but most of all from me adelgita with a cry of pain oh, my heart will burst just heavens 
my love my life fear not a sudden faintness nay but thou art wondrous pale and no one's near rest on this bank tis well i'll fly for help going adelgita seated on bank right no no i'll straight return oh claudia claudia exit right adelgita after a pause clasps her hand and raises them to heaven no aid no mercy no resource she remains as if stupefied lothair advances through the trees left but soft the princess here alone and weeping oh lothair lothair throws himself at her feet oh pardon this presumption can i witness those tears nor ask their cause and seek to dry them can i assist console relieve relief my words admit of none oh say not so my arm my soul are thine i'll search i'll find some means may sure be found oh deign to trust me thou canst not doubt the creature of thy bounty the orphaned youth whose life's thy gift michael duca appears at back right thou generous youth how kneeling at her feet yes yes i'll trust thee thou shalt know my danger then counsel aid and save me if thou canst there is a secret here michael duca comes down center ha oh, byzantium so my thoughts then wronged you not your heart it seems is not such ice but youthful fires can melt it you counted me your dupe <laughs> no no i guess some happy arrival steeled your heart not virtue and when this morn i marked your fond emotion your blush while round his neck you hung yon jewel that rival stood confessed tis plain confirmed mary the scene's well chosen murmuring streams soft beds of fragrant flowers convenient shades and amorous ring doves cooing o'er your heads where your love kneels before you base aspersion gods do i live to hear it mark me prince had living man but emma's father spoken those words my sword had struck him dead already what means thy charge thou canst not give it credit thyself her spotless virtue hers her virtue <laughs> tell others that strange tale oh heavens for me i found her art the spell is broken i know her frail and false now blisters seize his tongue who calls her so lothar lothar this warmth destroys me should i bear with patience to hear thee wronged thou best and purest no He's no man who listens calmly whilst a woman slandered. To Michael. She, frail? Oh, insult past enduring. She, unheard of falsehood. How? Yes, Emperor, yes. Whate'er thy rank, I'm for this hour thy equal. I say it, tis false. And though an angel spoke it, I'd still repeat. The charge is false as hell. What? this to me thou contradict me thou saw thy presumption then a pitch so high minion because thy silken locks have snared that fond one's heart oh gods yet yet be wise the rage which boils my blood dost think i fear it let thy rage blaze forth twill move my laughter and if thou needst more insults to provoke thee this makes the measure full striking him lothair drawing his sword draw draw this moment frantic with passion draw and defend thyself this to thy heart boy they fight help help michael raising his sword to stab him thou diest 
Adelgita, throwing herself before Lothair. Hold, tyrant, hold, or stab him through my bosom. Giscard, without. Speed, Claudia, speed. My husband's voice. He comes. Now tremble. Enter Giscard hastily, followed by Claudia, Julian, Tancred, and eight guards. Clash of arms. How's this, Lothair? Byzantium, too? Their swords unsheathed. Explain. Speak, princess. I guess God. Terror chokes my voice. I cannot. She leans on Claudia. Yet what fearest thou now, dear lady? The danger's past. Thou'rt safe. Dost mark quite safe. Tis I who tells thee so. Thy friend, thy servant, whose proudest boast will be. He saved thy honour. Adelgita, comprehending him. <sighs> then there's hope again. Her honour. Saved. From whom? I wandered near this spot, when shrieks alarmed my hearing. Hither swift I sped, and lo, thy wife my ruffian grasp detained. That ruffian was Lothair. Lothair? Adelgita, struck with horror and surprise. Oh, monster! Lothair, confounded. How? How? He drew his falchion. Mine already was bared in virtue's cause. And fierce we fought till by thy footsteps scared. Oh, monstrous! Princely Giscard, if e'er I harbored in my breast one wish, one thought injurious to thy consort's virtue, may heaven's red arm. But why assert my innocence? The princess knows it. To her lips I'll trust me. And by that test I'll stand. Speak, Adelgita. Thy suffrage none can doubt. Declare the truth. Unmask the traitor, and confirm my tale. No, I can bear no more. Unmask the traitor, I will, and show his guilt so black, so hideous, the sickening sun shall veil his orb in clouds, and think mankind no longer worth his care. Hear me, my lord. If there is faith in women, I now assert Lothar is... Michael, interrupting her and showing the picture, unseen by all but Adelgita, on whom the attention of the rest is entirely fixed. Lady, lady, beware. Speak, speak! Michael, pointing to the picture and threatening. Beware. Adelgita, hesitating. Luther is guilty! Falls on Claudia's bosom. God! Did I hear a right? Michael, aside. I triumph. Miscreant, O oh, Julian, bear yon villain hence, and chain him deep in the western tower. Adelgita, entreating. He saved your life. To load it with disgrace? Ten thousand lives could not repay the outrage. Bear him away. One word. By what strange spell yon dark magician in his chains has bound me, I know not. But I know myself most guiltless, and thee, prince, most deceived. I'll say no more. Do with me what thou will. Whate'er thou dost, the memory of thy bounty's past shall ne'er die in thy servant's heart. The axe that kills my life shall spare that grateful love I bear thee. E'en at the block, pray that thou neverest may know I perish guiltless and plead in yonder world of truth and peace my sovereign's cause with him to whom he sent me. To Adelgita, sternly. For thee, who? He stops, crosses over to her, takes off the jewel which she gave him, restores it with a look of mingled grief and anger, and goes off in silence. Julian and guards follow him. Adelgita, aside. Death is sure less painful. I guess God. My bosom bleeds, my brain turns around. Both there, his youth, his worth. I know not what I say, but spare him. Think, my love, how base the crime of him thou bidst me spare. His outrage wronged not thee alone, but all thy sex in thee. 
that sex which should have claimed his best protection who strikes his dagger in a female's heart acts kinder than those who stain that female's honor death being happier than a shameful wife since she who lives to shame but lives to suffer a oh, true most true aside to adulgita thou hearst him princess fiend to giscar and can then adulgitha sue in vain to giscar can my tears those tears are fruitless thy lord is firm and while you sue, fair princess, forget not that I hold your suit an insult to me, the accuser, me. In a low voice. Speak one more word, and all's revealed. I hate that boy. He dies. Why then? Oh, my fate is fixed. Hope fare thee well, I'll cease to weary heaven with prayers for blessings. Beset with foes, caught in the toils, distracted. I'll pray no more, or only pray to die. Death heals all wounds, with life all sorrows cease, and heaven will show that mercy man denies. Exit wildly. Claudia, follow. Exit Claudia. Ha! This strong emotion, these tears, this frantic anguish, in some eyes which seem suspicious. Not in mine, Byzantium. I judge the hearts of others by my own. Methinks Lothair might make you justly doubt the prudence of this system. Well might raise that boy's ingratitude seem slight regret for lavished care and bounty misapplied. No, Emperor, I regret not what I've done but that his vice prevents my doing more. Twelve years I cherished that delightful thought. Virtue was his, and that to me he owed it. The dream is flown. But shall I count as nothing a dream so long as flattering while it lasted? Can his foul actions stain my fair intent, or does his falsehood make my act less generous? I must perforce admire such lofty thoughts, Yet more admire the theory than the practice. Farewell, Apulia. Still pursue thy system. Still think all men are just, all women faithful. Still fly conviction's light. Still love, still trust. Still find thyself deceived. But ne'er grow wiser. Exit left. Ungrateful false Lothair. But no, I'll not lament the good I've done him. But that his vice prevents my doing more of man's ingratitude, let those complain whose bounty flows to serve themselves, not others. But he ne'er thinks his kindness ill rewarded, who acts as virtue bids, for virtue's sake. Exit right. End of Act Three.